that detonates oh, the guys. guns and ammunition aboard. Zero showed up. The Raleigh, which has already been hit by torpedoes. One bomb misses the ship's aviation tanks by mere feet. But by the second attack, the element of surprise is gone, and the Americans fight back, making the Japanese pay, inflicting damage of their own. This day has numerous stories of heroism. The Nevada, on the south end of Fort Island, opens fire at 0802, and although her captain and senior officers are not on board, Lieutenant Commander J.F. Thomas ignores his wounds and gets the ships underway, even with a huge hole in her port bow. Also on the Nevada, 21-year-old Joseph Tazen, officer of the day, mans the anti-aircraft battery and continues to direct fire at the enemy aircraft, even after a bullet passes through his thigh. He refuses to leave his comrades. He refuses to leave the battle. Two mechanics at Fort Field grab a Browning automatic rifle and shoot down a Japanese airplane making striping runs at Schofield Barracks. And soldiers aboard the USS Kern pull survivors out of the water even during the battle and they will rescue 47 men in all. The last of the Japanese fighters makes its way back to the waiting carriers, and the Japanese ships begin their long journey back to Japan. The attack lasts only 120 minutes, but American bases lay in ruins, smoke billowing up from the devastation. Eight battleships, three cruisers, three destroyers, and four auxiliary ships, 18 ships in all, lay foundering in the oil-covered waters of Pearl Harbor. More than 350 aircraft stand broken or completely destroyed. In reality, America's Pacific Fleet has simply ceased to exist. Yesterday, listen to our president, Franklin Roosevelt. 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The attack yesterday on the Hawaiian Islands has caused severe damage to American naval and military forces. I regret to tell you that very many American lives have been lost. With confidence in our armed forces, with the unbounding determination of our people, we will gain the inevitable triumph so help us God. And most terrific, 350 Americans lay dead or wounded in what remains of Pearl Harbor and Hickam Air Force Base. Arizona alone burns for three days. Yes, President Roosevelt issued a call to arms, and America responded. No one expected the surprise attack that fateful day. America was not ready for war, but America responded. America pulled together, and America was victorious. to defend this nation as women took their place in factories working long, hard hours to energize American industry. They produced the needed materials for America to go to war. Families rationed food and gasoline and many other items sacrificing their own needs for the good of a nation. An entire nation refused to give in, refused to quit, to allow democracy to be threatened. This nation, your nation, stood strong in the face of adversity, and this nation prevailed. This is not the first time Americans have been threatened and challenged and tested, and it will not be the last. Right now, as we enjoy this wonderful day, our sons, our daughters, our husbands, wives, uncles, cousins, our friends, and our countrymen are defending.
defending America in far-off lands, sacrificing so we might enjoy the lasting tradition of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We must never forget those who have given their lives to make sure America is strong. We must never forget those who have sacrificed for us. Please remember those brave young men and women. I would ask, when you see a serviceman in uniform, oh, go up to them, grab their hand, shake their hand, and say, I appreciate what you've done, and I thank you. But this is not just a story about them. It's about each and every one of you listening to me today. You can make a difference. You can be strong just as this nation was. Yeah. You can be empathetic just as this nation is. Yeah. And you can better yourself just as this nation will. Yeah. Abilene, we are part of the greatest nation in the world. If you believe this, put your hands together with me right now. That's right. I want to hear it. Yeah. One hand clapping. to savor what we have as a nation and to pledge to become involved in your community, your government, and your there. neighborhood. I hope today we have stirred something in your heart and made you feel proud of who You're you are and bomber, most important, man. proud to be hey, an there's American. Jake. There's Jake. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mayor Ford, right an organization there. of almost 9,000 worldwide committed to the preservation of aviation history, we welcome shot. you to visit one of the finest aviation history museums ever created in Midland, Texas. Draw Texas is celebrating more than 150 aircraft used from World War II. Or visit us on the web at commemorativeairforce.org. Please put your hands together and thank our pilots, Doug Peoples, Bobby Covington, Pat McClure, Mike Burke, Mark Allen, Mike Anderson, and Billy Parker out of the pyro field, Gordon Webb and his crew. I am Major Gowan, and we are Torah, Torah, Torah. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Did you enjoy the Torah attack on Pearl Harbor? Take out the armed guards we got they on the we got on the bomber. Out of the Gulf Coast oh yeah. Squadron of the Commemorative Air. <laughs> well, did you hear? I forgot to tell this you, it awesome. was a stealth bomber that just flew by and dropped Bunch one of those people bombs out, here. out there. This is the Gulf VIP Coast team. Squadron of the Commemorative Air Force. That's where Torah, Torah, Torah comes from. We're going to recover the B-1 Lancer that set the new world's time right, to climb record for you, ladies and gentlemen. And then we're going to do some aerobatic flying for you. A reminder that PBS Nova is filming today. You may see yourself on a smart material show coming out November of 2010. Look, the Toyota of Abilene appreciates the partners at Dias, and we appreciate their support of the big country air show and open house here at Dias. The communities of Abilene Federal Credit Union, where better banking begins with membership, be sure to get your service bucks when you open an account Bad with them. The ready. communities of Abilene uh, Federal Credit Union would like Thank to invite you, you to come by their booths to let you know how you can start enjoying all the advantages of vehicle loans. Area-wide phone books proudly supports our U.S. military and welcomes each and every one of you to the 2010 Big Country Air Show. Yeah, they sponsored, uh, had some great water up here, some kiwi fruit water that we had yesterday. Quail Hollow, another oh, one more uh, proud participant, as well There's as Firestone, Tide here. Boats, Aero Dealerships. They oh, proudly God. support our United States military. Please visit them at Arrow Take Ford off, at 4001 yeah. South 1st or go online to aerodealership.com and receive a $500 military discount on top of all rebates. Hey. There's the big B-24 Liberator taking off to participate in our World War II. As we continue that chamber of imaginations after a short while. Mighty Cooks people. in the roofing Thanks business for over 100 years. Episode. They're another proud hey, participant. TV. As the we'll Yellow Rose back. of Texas, Bob the B-25, Same the Doolittle Bob Bomber takes station. off, followed by the C-47. And a special thank you to General Electrodynamics.